Most people don't like change, and for some, the move to Windows 8.1 from an earlier version can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. I'm Dan Graziano, and in today's how-to, I'm going to share with you a few simple tips that you should know when using Windows 8.1. One of the things I hate the most is the sign-in screen. Even if you don't have a password set, you still have to see this screen. Well, I'm going to show you how to bypass it. Open the Charms menu, which can be accessed by clicking the lower right-hand corner of the screen or hitting the Windows and C button at the same time on the keyboard. Select the search feature, type N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z and select the first result. In the pop-up window that opens, uncheck the option, Users must enter a username and password to use this computer, and click OK. If you previously had a password, you will be required to enter it to confirm the change. The next time you restart Windows, you will now go straight to the start screen and won't be required to sign in. Next up, default apps. Microsoft sets Internet Explorer as the default browser in Windows 8.1. To change this and other apps, go to the Charms menu and click on Settings. Next, select Change PC Options, click on Search and Apps, and choose Defaults. From here, you can change the default web browser, email client, music player, and more. But what happens if your computer breaks or your hard drive fails? You will lose everything. Well, not necessarily. You can actually create an entire backup of your system. To do this, launch the control panel from the desktop, choose System and Security, followed by File History. At the bottom of the screen, you will find the System Image Backup option. You can then use the system image you created to restore all of your old data in the event your hard drive or computer stops working. And last but not least, updates. Microsoft routinely issues patches that include bug fixes and new features for Windows. Having the latest version installed on your computer will keep your system more secure and running better. To check to see if there are any updates available for your system, open the settings, click on update and recovery, and select check for updates. For more tips and tricks like these, visit howto.cnet.com. You can also reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.